Hello and welcome back to Assets Tech Tips. So, the last parts of the Node 202 build have arrived, and um, so I'm going to do a quick unboxing of them, and then uh, the next video will be the build, uh, putting everything together. So as you can see, we have here our CPU cooler, um, which comes with CPU paste. I have a little extra CPU paste just in case, and I have the disk that we're going to stick our operating system on. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, this is basically just for me because I like to have a little bit of extra paste lying around. So what you get in this one literally is just the, the tube of paste. I don't think you get any applicators. So let's, let's see. Oh, you do. Okay. So basically on this, little bit of information about what it is and uh, warnings in languages that I don't understand uh, but ba it's it's um, they say it's a paste for overclocking normally I use the Noctua paste which is inside and I'll show to you in a minute so inside this you get instructions on how to use it and um, basically showing you what you should and should not do you get your applicator which is um, for spreading the paste out onto the processor. And then we have here the, uh, the paste itself. Come on, camera, focus. So that's that. So let's just move that over there. Next, we have our CPU cooler. So Noctua are, are known for their high quality, and we have a, a good, good high quality box with lots and lots and lots of information about um, all the all the features and spec and, and whatnot that's on this. So the screws, the type of fans, uh, paste already applied, RAM compatibility. Ah, okay, yeah. So this here is for the for the height of the RAM, um, the type of fan that's used, and the type of heatsink that's in it. And then on the back, we have in lots of different languages basically a little bit of information about what this is but I mean you can go to the website and you can you can read all this yourself in a nutshell it's a CPU cooler and in the box when you open it up this is what you get you get yourself a little search which is uh, congratulating you on choosing your CPU cooler because it is a, a fairly good one and this it's a, this particular cooler I really like as well I, I have it in my my little firewall build over there which is also an ITX build and uh, it runs very quietly very well and does the job perfectly it's also extremely easy to install as you can see you take your motherboard you flip it over put on your four screws screw them directly into your cooler and job done so there's there's no hassle with this and uh, on their website also you can see a lot of information about exactly the, uh, the width the height where it'll fit how it'll fit and whatnot uh, we have ourselves a really high quality front panel sticker. This is metal. Um, so yeah, it's a change from your usual normal stickers that you get. So that's that. You get a an extension cable, should you need it, for your connection. Um, this is a, a 4-pin PWM extension. Um, let's see what it says. It's a low noise adapter. Then you have the paste, which I will be using if I need to, or if I can get it out of the box. It's, <laughs> it's very well stuck in. So this is Noctua's um, standard MTH1 paste, uh, which I generally speaking use for all of my um, for all of my other bills. I was just I'm, I'm out of paste, so that's why I picked up that one over there as well, to have a, a little bit more, and basically to try it out. I, I'd like to see if it's any better than this. I mean, there's an awful lot of hype around that being overclocking paste. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not too sure what the difference is. So here we go. Premium grade thermal compound. And it's nice that it actually comes in here as well. Then we've got our four screws for mounting. Um, lastly, but not least, hang on. Let's take that out. We have 
really nice finish. We have our CPU cooling. And that's it, guys. Um, if you can, try your best not to touch that. Uh, the, the less oily fingerprints that you've got onto it, the better. Uh, if you do happen to touch it, you can use some, um, I forget what it's called, I'll call it ISO. It's a, a light type of alcohol, isopropanol or something like that, to give it a clean. And um, yeah, so that's it. And this will sit on the motherboard to cool our CPU. Now, let's just carefully put that back. And then we have some additional screws. Not a hundred percent sure what the uh, what the extra longer like the extra long screws are for. To be a hundred percent honest with you, let me just take a look. Yeah, I'm not really sure to be honest with you what the additional screws are for. Maybe if you wanted to put another fan or something. Anyway, it'll be in the manual. I can read that, but I know that I won't be using these. I, I never have. Um, these four screws here do the job. Perfectly. They basically just go on like that, and your motherboard sits in between. So that's how that works. The installation of this is exceptionally easy. So, very well presented as well, if I might add, um, with their foam housing. It's it's a nice bit of protection. So should it get a, a bit of a knock or a bash, it it'll definitely keep. The, um, the hardware in good shape. So let's go ahead and put all of this stuff back. We can go in there and our sticker. And then onto the disk. Okay. So here we are. Info about the, the, the disk in many different languages. For more details, warranty and product information, please visit samsung.com. That's what it says. If I'm to give any criticism about it, the only thing that I would say is it would be nice if this was in paper rather than plastic. I am um, I'm a bit of a fan of trying to minimize our waste. Here's the disk. It is a very thin one. 2.5 standard laptop size, but it's uh, it's quite thin thin on the height, and this will basically fit into our case in here, basically like that. It'll it'll slot in this side in here. So this particular one that I've got. Um, I feel is very good value for money. It is a one terabit SSD. Um, and since we don't have an awful lot of space in the case for a lot of other storage, um, I can get another one of these in, or I'm thinking maybe I might put in a spinner with data. But I think this is a, a good good value for gigabyte. Um, and it's it's a really um, it's really nice for you know keeping things fast for the operating system. So this is what I'm gonna be using for the, the OS install. And that's it. There are the last three parts. And now I will check out, actually, we had a little bit of documentation on the back here, which doesn't come out. It's clued in. And let's see what we've got. Solid state drive. Oh, 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 a lot of information. Um, uh, in multiple languages, so that's that. Let's see. I think this is, yeah, so that there was warranty information, and this is the installation guide. To be honest with you, installing this disk is very easy. It's not rocket science. There's screws on the side, or the screws on the bottom. Boom, 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 boom. Job done. But in case you need a little extra help, here is a guide on how to do it. And we've got a CD, 
one-stop install navigator manual and software. So I'm assuming this is some kind of software to help you transfer your OS or your files. Uh, I'm not going to be using it. And yeah, so there you have it. We have our cool little disk. We have our CPU cooler. And we have our paste. Thank you all for watching. And um, yeah, I hope you follow my Node 202 build. It's coming up next. Uh, it should be fun. So yeah, take care and bye-bye.